everyone. Okay, so today's video is a lipstick and lip gloss collection type thing. Um, I recently, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like pin up girly at the minute. I'm sorry, what, what is that piece of hair doing? Um, yeah, I got some Muji um, acrylic storage containers the other day. Um, they have a store here in Manchester. So I picked some up. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough of the ones I wanted so I haven't got enough to store everything I want to store however the ones I've got hold my lipstick and lip glosses pretty well um I'm gonna put in a disclaimer here just I know it's cliche and I shouldn't have to say it I have a lot of high-end stuff um in here I've got some YSL Chanel lots of MAC and I need to point out that one um it's my choice what I spend my money on um we don't, I don't have like designer clothes or anything, I like to have nice makeup. Um, so don't be leaving me any comments, call me spoiled or whatever, all of this stuff I've bought myself because I, um, I've worked full time self-employed since I was 17, so um, I've had a lot of time to build up um, my collection. Um, okay, so moving on, the video is a little bit shaky because I was actually filming with my camera in my hand when normally I hold out my tripod. If I'm doing anything like this, um, so I apologise. Um, what I want from you guys is, do you want my next video to be my eyeshadows? So mostly MAC because I have a lot of MAC eyeshadows. Um, eyeshadow collection or my blush collection because I've got a lot of blush as well. Um, do you want those next? And I want to know what your favourite lipstick is. Um, I'm trying to guilt myself into not buying any more lipstick by doing this video. Because um, I, I think it's pretty excessive. What I've got is pretty excessive. So um, I might try and instigate a rule where I can only buy a lipstick after I've used one up or something. Um, Alright, oh gosh that was noisy. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you um, soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Uh, I love you all. Bye. Okay, so um, yeah, lipstick collection. <laughs> On um, the top of my desk is this Muji unit that I've got a couple of. Um, so on the top in these lipstick holders, which did originally used to hold um, a lot of them, <laughs> sorry, ignore the brush cleaner, there are some Chanel lipsticks, um, these two are Rouge Coco and these are the Rouge Allure. I don't really have time to go through every single lipstick, but if you want a more in-depth um, one like my collection of certain brands, then please ask. Okay, and then up here... This is a 24 lipstick holder unit thing and it's always going out of stock on Amazon. Um, but I think it was about £7.30 delivered so it wasn't too bad. I've got a couple of Chanel here. These are the, um, what are you called, Rouge Coco Shines. Then I've got a regular Rouge Coco at the back. Then I have some lipsticks that I really like at the minute and a couple I'm testing. <laughs> so I've got the Max Factor Pink Brandy. L'Oreal Colour Rich, um, Cassie's Red is it? Cassie's Passion. See my lighting's really funny than that, I'm sorry. I need to turn my light away. That's a bit better. And then I've got the Bourjois Rouge Edition number 13. And I've got some of these L'Oreal Shine Splash things. I don't rate them at all. I know they're supposed to be like the YSL. Glossy stains, but not. I'm sorry, my camera keeps dipping. I need to remember to look into my camera, not at the product. So here I've got one Maybelline 14 hour lipstick that doesn't really have a home. <laughs> and then I've got 14 Revlon um, lip butters. And there we go. So I bought some of these Muji container thingies. Um, um, I bought some of these. And they only had one set of five and one set of three, but they had loads of these little two draw things. So I bought those. I bought a five, a five, a three, and three twos. Um, and the woman in store let me know that about the fifteenth of next month they'll have more. So I'll go and get more there, and then do a proper makeup um, collection video, which is still mega requested. This one holds um, mostly high end lip products, and then there are limited edition eyeshadows that are here okay so we're going to start at the top the top's really easy because you can see that one's not the right way oh my gosh i get so icy about this 
This is YSL and Il Masca. Um, these are the glossy stains. Now I tend to know what number I'm looking at just by the colour. So there was no need to have them facing out so I could see the name. So um, I know like this is number 10 and I think that one's number 5, number 7. So yeah, there's two, <laughs> six, eight of those. A couple of these. Um, what are these? These are the YSL Rouge Polka Chalk. And I've got some of these. Um, this is lingerie pink. This is the one that was really big on YouTube a while ago. This is a peach one. I've got Estee Lauder Crystal Baby. This gorgeous um, dark plum colour. That's the pink. And then I've got Illa Masca here. On a, as a whole, they're mostly red. Um, but the, the good thing about these is I can just take my unit out and read the names so that's just easy for me and then I've got one Makeup Forever Mulan lipstick here uh, I do have another Makeup Forever lipstick but I have no idea where it is okay so moving down a drawer this is my MAC limited edition in special packaging lipsticks um, again having them facing out so I can read the names so yeah <laughs> So in here we've got Archie's Girls, um, Marilyn, this is one from Christmas, that's another one from Christmas, I think it's the Glamour Days collection. Five Venomous Villains, two Hey Sailor, two of the, I can't remember what the collection was called, it's last year's Christmas one, two um, to the beach ones. So that's that, and I have got another one which is further down which doesn't fit but I don't use too much. This straw here is reds and then darker colours so... On the front here I have all the MAC reds, <laughs> then I've got all of my darker MAC colours and then at the back here I've got some reds that I really really like. So I've got um, cherry blossom, cherries in the snow and then um, ravaging rouge the 14 hour Maybelline one which is amazing. I also I can't find my strawberry suede um, from Revlon <laughs> otherwise it would be in this drawer. This drawer is um, hot pinks and sort of natural lip colours. So my natural ones are on the front, like this, <coughs> and then hot pinks at the back and then some light colours in this category. So there's um, Revlon Blushing Mauve, Mauve It Over from Revlon, and then I've got another 14 hour lipstick there. What was this one called? Persistently pink, but it's actually quite a plump look, so don't trust the names. Last draw here is nudes and very light pinks. So um, <coughs> I've got one sheen to pretty much think these are all like nude colours. At the back is light pinks, and then a couple of other ones I like. So we've got nude attitude. Um, Pink in the afternoon. I've got this one from Natural Collection, which is two pounds in boots, and they're really nice. The colours are really nice. Um, unfortunately, they do have a tendency to break like that. I'm keeping it in there until I can decant it. The next draw is special packaging lip glosses. <laughs> um, put this down here. So we've got Venomous Villains, Hey Sailor, Archie's Girls, I think this is Style Warrior, I think. Faffy, Hello Kitty, Neo Sci-Fi. This is one that was limited edition that um, I didn't come in special packaging, but it's called Just Add Colour. And it is beautiful. So <laughs> yeah, it lives in here. We've got Surf USA, uh, Glitter and Ice, that collection I remember now, and then one name, Edna. This next draw is um lip glass things so these were from the miniature collections last year um cream sheens and basil glasses there's pink and peach set so i got those <coughs> this is my one plush glass i hate smell so i only have one then a variety of colors from various collections some of them look like the sort of powdery but this was the i think fabulous felines collection and they all seem to look a little like this but they're fine when they're not the tube so i'm not sure what the deal is but whatever. Um, I've got a couple of NARS miniatures at the bottom as well that 
came in the set Mike got me for Christmas last year. That's covered in black eyeliner, I have no idea why. The last draw in this unit is um, Dazzle glasses and cream sheen glasses and then these are Dare to Wear lip glasses from um, the Dare to Wear collection. This is, <coughs> um, I think it's fifth. Let me check. I think so from the Marilyn collection and then um, Dazzle glasses from Glitter and Ice, a lip gloss from Glitter and, Glitter and Ice. Sorry, a cream sheen from Glitter and Ice that is lovely. One Dazzle glass not in the packaging. This is Bare Necessity, which looks fantastic on Asian skin tones. Um, may I point out this one's from Glamour Days. This one, I'm not sure what the collection was, but it is amazing. Star quality. Um, okay. <laughs> Just talking crap here now. Um, some more Mac. That's like, like I say. These drawers are just eyeshadows. Um, just until I get some more units next month, and then if we head over here, this is a embarrassing draw. This is just so random. Um, <clears throat> this is just a mix of lip products that I can't make work any other way. So I've got a bote. Lip Creme Sun Rimmel Apocalypse, which I don't rate as highly as some people seem to. Um, some MAC, what are they called, Sun Tint. Uh, two Revlon, what on earth are you called? Just the Incredible Balm things, they smell very minty. And then I've got some Little Gemma Kid lip glosses. Um, Il Masca, this seems to be the old packaging, this stuff seems to be the old packaging, this stuff needs, seems to be the new stuff. Favourite hair being this one, which I think is Lily Rose. No, it's Femme, sorry. <laughs> I did have Lily Rose somewhere, that's Femme. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of those, some Nars, Revlon Peony, which is like amazing. And there's another one of these that's missing, and it was like strawberry something, and I looked everywhere for it. This one don't like so much, Clarins. Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector, which is amazing. One NARS Gloss Stick. Um, MAC. What are you? Resort Life Lip Gel. This um, Bourjois Rose Exclusive Lip Thing, and it is amazing. I love this. I wore this for my wedding. This Bourjois, um, let's see, English side. Smile Enhancing Gloss. So that's the colour on the end, and then there's a gel that you put on your teeth on that end. It's a bit gimmicky, but whatever. And these are the, the only drugstore lip gloss under £5 that I will ever use, and it's a natural collection. Um, they're one ninety nine for everything in the range. The lipsticks and the lip glosses are really nice. Um, not really too keen on anything else, but I love these. Yeah, that's it for now. I've obviously I've got some more drugstore lipsticks in various bags, etc. And... Um, other things. My next door neighbour's phone ringing. That's a bit on you. That's a bit awkward. Um, yeah, that is it for that. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye.